So, oh, so what do you think? Wonderful. Yeah. That was wonderful. Uh, that was the highlight of my So what's my it career? like to get that phone call from him? We'll finish with that one. Yeah, exactly. What, what was right. it like to get that phone call from Shannon to say Oh, I got the phone call in. from uh, uh, Governor Anatomy. <gasps> no who way. I just, I had done a movie for, about the Chickasaw okay. Nation. And uh, so I got to know him. And uh, amazing guy. I really... And I got to, I was driving in my car. Yeah. And he said, uh, Ray, this is Anatoby. Bill Anatoby. And I want you to be in the Hall of Fame. I almost wrecked the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I said in my acceptance speech that it's uh, important to me because the first thing I, is for me, not for, yeah. I mean, it's great getting awards for pictures that you work on. But it's, a movie is a lot of people, as you all know. Yeah. It's not just one person. And uh, they can't do it by themselves. It takes a whole team. And, uh, but to get that was, you know, I, mean, yeah. I guess my, my parents get some credit for it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think super well deserved. And I think the fact is, it is a combo of how great you are as a filmmaker, but also how much you have given back to the state of Oklahoma by starting that film program and by encouraging all of us to be, you know, to go ahead and step into the dream and do, and do something that you feel passionate about. And I think it's just been great. You know, I've lived all over the world and I've, I've lived in Switzerland. I've lived in the south of France. I've lived in Rome. I've lived in Palm Springs. I've lived in Beverly Hills. And I've been all over Asia and the Philippines and, uh, and uh, Singapore and uh, all, all those countries, Australia, New Zealand, and uh, I go to a place sometimes. I there's a director friend of mine, Sidney Fury. Every time he goes on location to a, a, a state, he says, "Maybe I'll move here because <laughs> when you go to this new place, it seems so great." Yeah. And I think back of all the places. My wife, when she first came here. She cried every day. She said, what am I? Where am I? What is this? <laughs> I did too. <laughs> we, she, we heard the train whistle one night and she started crying. So we, I'm in the middle of nowhere. She didn't hear, they don't hear train whistles in Encino, California. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I, we were talking the other day. I said, so once, once, once I croak, where are you, you going to go back? Said, no, I'm going to stay in Oklahoma. Yeah. It's a wonderful, it's a, it really is a wonderful place to live. And I'm so lucky and happy to be living here, and I'm uh, I'm proud of uh, being from Oklahoma. Yeah. This podcast was presented by the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, who've been telling Oklahoma's story through its people since 1927. Follow them online at oklahomahof.com, and definitely on Instagram at oklahomahof. Catch you next episode. Cheers.